Hey devs, you are listening to Bilal Himgad and today we are going to talk about customization of a list view control. List view in XAML provides you a customization option that you can customize and manipulate the design of your uh, list view control according to your need. You can add as many layout controls as you want. Uh, you can add any XAML control inside your list view and bind the data with that. So this is uh, the option provided to you by the list view control. Uh, not only the list view, all the item containers control. That can be list box, that can be list view. You can customize them. So let's see how it works. Method is, methodology is same for all kind of controls uh, that contain items in itself. So let's see how we can customize these controls. That's pretty simple. I have already created a project for you guys. Uh, this is an empty project. It contains nothing, just a main page of XAML where I am going to add a list view control. You can add a list view control from the toolbox, just drag and drop, or you can code it. So this, here is my list view control. So there is a shortcut for adding a list view. If you are, if you don't want to code, then just go to properties or press F4. If you if you don't know uh, the where is the properties window on your screen uh, in your Visual Studio. So just click the items. You can add list view item like this. It will add a list view tag or else you can code it. So here is the list view item which I have added through code. So make sure you can add only one control at a time. For example, if I am adding a text block and now uh, there will be no error. But as soon as I will add another text block, it will give me an error. This error will say the property content can only be set once so make sure when i'm uh, talking about adding a content this is this can be a grid if you want to add many controls inside a list view then you have to add any layout controls and then inside your layout controls you can add as many controls as you want so maybe it, it can be a grid or it can be a stack panel so i'm adding a stack panel with orientation horizontal because I am going to add an image followed by a text block then again a text block under itself under it so so let's see uh, what I am going to do first of all I will say that this list view should be aligned in the center of my screen and for that I am vertically and horizontally aligning it in the center of the uh, screen now I am going to add an image control I will say that the width of this image should be 100 pixels and height should be again 100 so it must appear like a scale on this screen now i have already added an image inside my asset so i am going to add that through oh sorry uh, just selecting an image control go to properties go to source select bg and here you can stretch according to your desired uh, template now what next i am going to add another stack map so as I have talked earlier that now I can add as many controls as I want. I am going to add another stack panel maybe uh, but now it's uh, this time its orientation would be vertical. Now uh, I will say that it should be it should have little distance between the uh, between image and itself. I will say this distance can be 10 pixels from the right. Now I will add a text block. This text block is saying that get air ticket basically it's a title of uh, list view item maybe uh, let's apply some style theme resource can be a header text block style uh, let me resolve this error all right now i'm going to add a button under this control so for that i will add a button i will say the content is purchase ticket like this so now you uh, can see that I have added a button, a text block, an image inside of a uh, list view control. I will say that its horizontal alignment must be stretched so that it fills the uh, uh, stack panel horizontal. Now if I build my application. So here is the output. This is one list view uh, item having a custom template which I have designed. Else you, if you are not uh, customizing it, the default list view item is just like this. Let me show you. List view item, sorry, uh, content is equal to hello. Uh, all right, let me say this is second 
item. So you can see that there is no customization in it. This is the default behavior of list view item. But if we want to customize this content, I want to display an image, a button, maybe a check boxes, maybe radio buttons. So this is the way how you can customize it. Just expand this list view, add a, a layout control. But when you are binding some data with this list view, uh, there will be little difference. Like you have to then uh, define all this uh, data, uh, all this design inside the list view dot item template. Now there will be a data template option like this. Now just paste this grid or a stack panel which I have des designed here uh, and assign that to this to this data template. Now repeatedly itself automatically data will be adjust according to the layout defined inside the data template. So uh, we will see how we are going to bind the data template in our web services session which is our very next lesson on how we get some data through web service and bind with list view or a list box or any other item container control. So this is uh, how you can customize your list view item. If I just copy and paste this list view item, let's see what happens. So as you can see that now I have defined the template of my list view. Now it will have all the items with this design. I, I have hard coded the values. That's why they are repeated. In our web uh, services session, we will see that we will only define this template once and it will repeat uh, itself automatically for every item. Every next item will follow the layout. So this is how we can customize list view control according to our need. So if you have any ambiguity related to this session, just ping me on the contact details which are being displayed on your screen or you can visit my website www.bilalamj.net anytime. Thank you for watching this video. Happy coding.